Hi, my name is Sylvain Cormier. I work for Volantex Labs in Montreal, Canada. Uh, we are building a decentralized uh, exchange on top of the EOS IO platform. Um, for uh, prototyping, I found that uh, creating accounts and uh, wallets and saving keys to the to the hard drive and uh, um, it was pretty tedious as well as shooting the command lines uh, with uh, all the concerns about the formatting. Uh, it was getting to take a lot of time for me to, uh, to prototype so I built a small QT, PyQt uh, application where I could uh, shoot all these command lines with the touch of a button uh, including saving um, my uh, keys automatically to the hard drive. So this is in no uh, sense a uh, viable application for a live uh, purpose. Uh, for now it's only for testing um, how to, uh, you can also start and stop the blockchain and reinitialize it deleting the data directory completely so you could use the same user over and over again for testing purposes only. So um, if you go to the Valentix Easy EOS uh, repository uh, you'll have a source directory in there with that one small Python file um, very easy to use. Uh, to uh, use it you'll have to install uh, EOS in, the, the, uh, in your home directory as prescribed. You'll have to install Python, PyQt4 and you'll have to configure, configure Nodios uh, which is the uh, EOS IO uh, blockchain daemon uh, it's fairly straightforward insta uh, um, configuration, uh, plenty of tutorials on that. So um, let me start the application for you. If you go to the source di directory and you run this command, you'll get this uh, application here. So if I have any blockchains running right now, I'm going to stop them and I'll reset them. This deletes the uh, data directory and then I'll flush my wallets also so any wallets that have been created on my uh, hard drive are being uh, removed so I'll start up the chain as you can see this is what it looks like uh, 10 11 blocks right now um, we're going to be creating a user we're going to create another user or wallet and uh, an account which uh, is going to issue some tokens and then uh, it, which is going to create some tokens and then issue those tokens to the other user. So the first user is going to be me, the wallet, create the wallet, set the keys, active and owner, import the keys to my wallet, set the account name which is my name, create the account and it's as simple as that. So for the account that's going to be issuing and creating the tokens, let's make this Valentix. It's a real life scenario. Create its wallet, set its owner keys, set its active keys, import these keys to the wallet, set the account name which is Valentix again. Create the account and then we'll open the contract. The contract always resides in the EOS directory in the build and in the contracts. So you'll see it's the EOS IO dot token contract. We'll initialize this contract and the currency we want to create here is VTX. Um, the amount to uh, generate in the beginning is uh, could also have a tab here. I put it to 1 million uh, hard coded in the command, but uh, we could have a, another conven convenient tab here. We're going to issue the, this uh, currency. Uh, the recipient is going to be me. The amount that I'm going to give myself is 1,000. Always four digits after. Let me make sure this is right and then send it to the receiving account. So it's a success. I've put some tabs here to get the account details and to get general info from the blockchain. 
So if you want to test, uh, if you modify your contract or if you uh, I don't know, have another scenario, and, uh, you can always stop the chain here and reset it and flush the wallets and start the chain again and easily use the same account and wallet name that you had before and uh, everything will work. So I thank you all for listening and uh, I hope this is useful to someone. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, get in touch with me at Sylvain at ValentixLabs.com or uh, you can reach me on the Valentix uh, Telegram channel. Thank you very much and uh